this show, you know, kind of stands out amongst uh, network TV instantly for the tone and sort of the feel of it. Was that something that right from the get-go you guys knew you wanted to bring sort of a darker, edgier thing to television? I don't think it was something we, we consciously set out to do. Uh, when I read the script, I figured, you know, I asked Kevin, who is this for? And when we talked about it being on network TV, we we had that moment of, you know, how much are we going to have to censor ourselves? But uh, at the end of the day, we kind of just set out to just make the best show we could. And, um, you know, we, we're ha we have to be somewhat careful with some of the subject matter in terms of how we show it. But tonally, I think, um, I think it'll be fine on network. You know, people really don't see what they think they see. And that's a great part of it. You know, he doesn't want to just kill Kevin's character, it seems like. It seems like he'd love to maybe mess with him a bit first. Yeah, I, well... You're right. I think what's happening is James's character is writing, in his mind, he's writing this book. Mm -hmm. And he's using uh, Ryan Hardy, Bacon's character, as a as his protagonist. And he's kind of playing with him. And he loves the idea of sort of creating these stories where uh, Kevin Bacon has to uh, follow along and play along. And I think the audience is going to experience sort of a chapter of that book in every episode. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the crux of the series being James's character has amassed these followers, has, you know, sort of become this cult leader. Uh, will we start to find out more and more about how that has happened since he was in prison the whole time? You're going to, I think, in every episode we're going to discover through flashbacks how he met uh, some of the acolytes that follow him and how he's touched their lives and why they're doing what they're doing for him. So I don't think uh, anyone's going to walk away unsatisfied. You're going to get a lot of answers. There'll be a lot of answers to the questions that we set up in the pilot. Uh, Kevin Williamson's material is known for a lot of great twists and turns. Uh, suffice to say that this series will follow that path. Yeah, Kevin... Kevin's an incredible writer, and he does write great thrill and scare and horror and murder, but at the core of it, he writes incredible emotional um, sort of human drama, and I think that's what really sits underneath this whole show. What's it like working with uh, Kevin Bacon on the series, who everyone is so excited is doing his first TV show here? It's great. Kevin Bacon, working not just working with Kevin Bacon, our entire cast, mm -hmm. but uh, yeah. Kevin sets a tone. He, he came in, and he's a total pro I mean it's really easy to work with someone like that and uh, the younger cast members look up to him and the rest of the supporting cast just kind of fall, fell right into place it's awesome how far ahead are you mapping out this series because it's a, you know a pretty complex storyline you've set up I think it really it's it's Kevin Williamson who could really answer that question but uh, this is something he's been thinking about and writing for 15 years. So when we first got together, he, we talked about the first two seasons. So I think we pretty much have uh, a, a template or a framework for what that's going to be. You know, things change as you and evolve as you move forward, but we, we have it. It's pretty clear to him, at least, what it's going to end up being.